In this video, I'm going to bring you through the largest and most protected fish market in the entire world in Tokyo, Japan. Visitors and filming are both strictly prohibited, but I think I found a way. Good morning. This is a pair of secret spy glasses, and I'm going to use these to do something that nobody has ever done before. What I'm about to do is like breaking into the world's largest bank and then filming inside the vault. And I'm just praying that I don't get caught. I'm way more awake than I thought I'd be, probably because of how excited I am right now. And I've also brought along Tim, who has disguised another camera inside of a banana. This is the worst disguise I've ever seen for a camera. What's your idea? <laughs> You've probably heard of this famous fish market in Japan called Skiji Fish Market, but we're about to go to Toyosu Fish Market. Here it is. Toyosu is the largest and most well-protected fish market in the entire world. In fact, it's 4,391,675 square feet in size, and it's got more security guards than most large banks. This place does not mess around, authorized personnel only, and they will kick you out. I already see a security guard staring me down. This place is a fortress, impossible to break into, except for the fact that I've got an inside man. This is Yuto, our contact inside the fish market. He's gonna get us past security and show us around. Right away, you get hit with that crazy fish smell, huh? Just right off the bat, boom. You get used to it? Yeah. Wow, wow. Yeah, we just need to wear this so you blend in in the market. What does this mean? Uh, Toyota Market Wholesale. This badge tells people that I'm allowed to be in the fish market, even though I'm not. Yuto, these are pretty slick looking boots right here. No one's gonna question me? Nope. Now that we're all suited up, it's time to sneak in. I'm a little nervous, but I can't act suspicious. There's no going back now. Still can't believe it's dark outside. Yeah. I always think that's crazy. So much has happened here before it's even morning. Yeah. Because the market pretty much at, by 8 a.m. it's like closed. What is this? Person. Pretty much oh this is saying God. tourists can't get in. If you see a suspicious person, please report it to the nearest security guard or the station. Have you seen people get kicked out of here before? Yeah. What do they do? Just pull you right out? Tell you like, get the hell out. Yeah, Let's see if he bows down to you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Hi. Okay, yeah, there you go. You got the nod. I got the nod. Good to go. Another warning. Authorized personnel. Another warning. This is, uh, you need the cap to get in. I have never seen this many warnings to enter any place. Another one, another one. Don't film. All over the wall. No photos, please. Walking right in with the camera. The banana's gone. <laughs> <laughs> this is insane. And I'm just trying to act as normal as I can without freaking out right now. Because I am freaking out. Do you ever get lost here? Uh, kind of, sometimes. I mean, it's enormous, this place. I feel like we're in a totally different world right now. Like an underground kingdom. In the market, these vehicles have the right of way. So uh, if you get hit, it's on you. And then you probably have to pay for their damages. Holy sh! Right up front is uh, the tuna auction. They're taking stuff out right now. Like, see? The oh my god, that is a tuna. So everyone's just coming to collect their tuna from the auction. Yeah, this is the most strict area in the whole entire market. So okay. just use your uh, spy cam glasses. Okay, people have already won some of these fish here. Yeah, that's the number one tuna. From... That's the number one of the day? Yeah. Would that have cost a million dollars? Probably a little less. A little less than a million dollars right there. Holy sh So they're all bidding on tuna right now. Yeah. Oh my God. The sound is amazing, Yuto. It's almost like a, they're singing. Don't raise your fingers because they're going to think you're bidding oh, and you really? have to pay a million dollars. Don't hold my hands up. Yeah. So nobody is allowed to film in the place we are in right now. This contact I have is kindly letting us film. And as long as we're quiet and respectful, it's OK. But we are probably the first people in the world that have been allowed to come inside here. So all the tourists will have to stand up there if they want to watch. That's the closest they can get. Yeah, that's all they can see or up there. Oh see my gosh, yeah, they're all standing up there trying to see. Every single tuna has a number. There are thousands and thousands. So if you don't have the yellow, you're not allowed to bid. So all these people with the yellow hats on are bidding. So this guy's right in front of us is bidding. He's bidding again. He wants this tuna really bad. So these guys are kind of checking the quality of the tuna. I mean, those tuna are bigger than Yuto. <laughs> That's like three or four Yutos. <laughs> Can you explain why these are on here? Uh, just to show like the fat content and the quality of the tuna, you can uh, judge it by the tail. 
detail. And the quality of the tuna looks incredible. So each tuna only takes a few seconds to get one. So someone just won someone that one? Someone just won and they put the name, the name of the company that took it. Wow. So these are all swordfish. Honestly, these are even bigger than the tuna. Those eyes are almost as big as my hand. And they've cut their swords off, huh? Yeah. The sword would be all the way out to here if it was on there. Yuto, what is that one over there? Holy sh Look how big that is. That is an enormous tuna. Oh my God. So she won this tuna. Yeah. Is that number two? Number two, yeah. That's the number two tuna of the day. Okay, so one of the things, if you owe money to the Yakuza, what they do is they'll send you on the tuna fishing boats. Like the Japanese mafia. Yeah. Will send you out on a tuna boat to work, mm -hmm. right. to pay off your debt. Yeah. It's pretty much like a death sentence because the working environment is probably like the worst environment you ever see with like the it's waves dangerous. going crazy, all the hours you have to work, physical labor. I'm glad we didn't whip out any big cameras in there. <laughs> We're heading to the shrimp auction right now. They just finished up as well. So a lot of uh, kuruma prawns, amaebi. Wow. The auctioneers will stand up on this wooden like podium and all the bidders are up there. And it's just like, it's all shrimp. That's it yeah, in this room. This shrimp. whole room is all shrimp. So this is where the uni auction happens. Sea urchin. <laughs> Oh my god. There is so much sea urchin in this room. Probably tens or millions of dollars of sea urchin right in front of me right now. So these people are over there all bidding. And then here he's just reading out the numbers. Wow. So you know that guy, Utah? Yeah, that's our guy. Only guy. He looks like the best dressed guy in the crew. So this is the live seafood room. Yeah. Wow. All live seafood. It's like an aquarium, but you can actually eat the stuff, huh? Hi, buddy. This is the biggest market in the world, and you can tell when you're in here. These are just live octopus. He's just moving around in there. Oh my God, he's blowing a bunch of water. Just shot it at me. He's so cute, I wanna save him. So these are live puffer fish? Yeah. And this is this can kill you if you don't fillet it the proper way, yeah? Right. They're not poisonous right like this, are no. they? So these are the bubblers that allow all the fish in this room to stay alive. And it's actually really just kind of mesmerizing. It's just pumping air into the water so that the fish can actually breathe and live until they're sold. And it's really crazy how many of these they have in here. So many fish. And there's just so much action in here right now. It is starting to get a little bit lighter outside, but it's still pretty much pitch black. So we're about to enter the big giant fish market. Right, where you can purchase them. So this now is where the magic happens. So we were seeing like the very, very start of things. The second the fish come off a boat. This is where the wholesalers actually sell. Oh my God. Wow. Look at all this. The way they lay out all the seafood and the fish here is remarkable. Tons and tons of oysters, shucked oysters. This is sea cucumber. It smells really good actually. Baby tuna. Wow. These are Maine lobsters, and I'm from Boston, and I'm shocked to see that they have a whole live tank of Maine lobsters here. That's amazing. These fish are gorgeous. It's like a brain of some kind. Are those mussels? Uh, it's got pen shell. Pen shell? It's like a gigantic mussel. That fish is huge. It's a grouper. That is a beautiful fish. And you just gotta wonder, where is this thing shipping? Go subscribe, and we'll send one of you guys this whole box of fish heads. I'm just kidding. These look exactly like the octopus emoji. It is literally a perfect, perfect little octopus. I need to be gentle with it. The ribbon fish are so pretty. I cooked one of those one time. It was actually really, really tasty. And these are mackerel. Beautiful patterns on them. Oh my gosh. And these are all the hairy crabs, which is the best tasting crab, in my opinion, in the world. And you really can get them only like this in Japan. And as you can see, they don't just have a little hair. They're really, really hairy. Look at all that hair. If you find this crab in a restaurant, it's expensive, but it's known for having the softest and sweetest meat in the world. This goes on forever. My legs are getting tired. And then you have to wait and cross the roads because these people go right by and they will hit you. So aside from all these cars that are ripping by in this place, you also have to be really careful about the floors. There's fish guts, there's water, there's stuff like that everywhere. And you could probably slip pretty easily too. This is all fresh live snow crab. This guy is escaping. He's just trying to get out of here. And how much would one of these cost? For a pound, over a hundred. Wow, that's a beauty. Look at that. He wants to see my YouTube channel right now. Wow, can I see what this looks like in Japanese? Wow, that's so cool. You wasn't even that video. Celebrity ga watashi no ryori wo kyouka. Oh, and Japanese vending machines, right? So you can get hot coffee out of these vending machines, yeah? Hot and cold, even hot soup. That's hot soup yeah, right there? Corn soup. Corn soup. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. 
Achtung. Oh. Oh. It is so hot. It's so nice after standing in that freezing cold fish market too, to have this amazingly hot corn soup. It smells really good, right? Yeah, I can smell it from here. Mm. Not only is it incredibly creamy, like delicious corn soup, but they have these real corn kernels in there. And they use special cream from Hokkaido. This is Take, he's a superstar sushi chef. Uh, and he's gonna show us how a chef comes in here and shops for their ingredients, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 it's really exciting. Let's yeah, see. Let's First, Take is taking us to buy a few different kinds of fish from one of his usual suppliers. He says they offer almost anything here. It's a king yellowtail. King yellowtail yeah. fish. So like in, in Japan, we call it, I say, depending on like a wild or the, uh, the form. Uh, that's the goody. That's not, yeah, okay. that's a wild one. The form one, so like uh, we call it as like a hamachi. Oh, you got seven fish. Yeah. Wow. The bonito, horse mackerel, scallop, kettlefish. Cuttlefish. Sardine. Wow. Uh, flounder. Okay. And yellowtail. A lot of fish. Arigato. Thank you. We're going to go to like uh, the tuna shop. That is beautiful, huh? That is such beautiful tuna. The wagyu of the sea right there, that's the belly right there with all the fat. That's some of the most gorgeous tuna I have ever seen in my life. Look how precise he is with that knife over there too. But we're gonna see a little bit more tuna cutting later. So are they just, you're buying some? Or no? No, no, no. Just, just looking? Just, just, looking. just looking. So one day so that when I have the own restaurants, I wanna uh, buy the tuna from here. Oh, when you have your own restaurant? Yeah, one you'll day. You'll buy the tuna at this place? One day. One day you're gonna, one day. I think you're gonna do it. <laughs> I think you're gonna do it. I'm rooting for you. Oh, thank you. I feel like it's crazy that in this whole video, uh -huh. I'm never gonna be able to possibly walk through <laughs> and show people everything. <laughs> it would take you longer than the fish market is open for. Uh -huh. This is an eel shop right here, huh? See the design of like that's the logo the, oh, is that's like the, the eels. Eel. Oh, okay. He'll see, show you, he said. Oh, he's gonna show us. Oh, okay. So fast. Wow. Just look it. You have to be careful. No, easy, easy. Easy? Easy, easy. Doesn't look easy. The finesse that it takes with the knife here is incredible to watch. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. How many do you do every day? Uh, 500. Oh, 500. Shit. <laughs> he has like a own big restaurant. So after he does all this in the morning, and then he's, he's gonna, he has he's, his own restaurant. He's going to back to the own, like his, his own. And he'll work the whole day. Yeah. Oh, he's going to bring us over here. Wow. Alive? Right. Alive? All right. Oh boy. You're not scared? Huh? No, not scary? Quack night. Quack night. Oh. 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 He's so scared wow. of it. Oh! Hello! <laughs> oh my god! He named Tom. Tom? Tom. Tom, uh, Tom is my friend. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hello! 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 Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> He's washing his hands. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah! <laughs> Where are we going? Uh, I'm going to uh, go to. They can pick up the, the uni, the sea urchin. Oh, some uni. Uni. I'll help you with that. Oh, wow. This is who we saw at the uni auction. Yeah, we saw him earlier. Guys, I think you know. Yuto, did you know uni's my favorite food? Yeah. Yeah, so when I'm in Japan, obviously I'm gonna buy a box. So we're gonna get one now and taste it. Here's our first option. It was the uh, ranked fourth. This was the fourth box of uni today? Fourth ranked uni. Holy. Out of the 13,000 boxes. No way. This is like out of the free, very special one. Wow. Number 57. He's bringing a lot of options out for us to check out. It's amazing. The one's in shelf still. Oh, this is in a shelf. This is the live sea urchin, like babies. Oh, wow. Guys, I think since we're here, I think we have to pick the fourth box oh, out of 13,000 for the day. So he's going to write now the price, 29,000. Plus tax. Okay. Plus tax. Yeah. Oh, you're hitting me with the tax. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on, it's there. Come on, can we do it. Okay, uh, 33. Okay. Damn, that is expensive. Sea urchin. Arigato gozaimasu. This is the coolest receipt I've ever seen. I'm keeping this, I'm gonna frame this. <laughs> Before we go try our uni to see if it's the best I've ever had, there's one last surprise I wanna show you. We're on our way to meet the Tuna King, the most famous tuna supplier in all of Japan. He's known for getting the best tuna at the auction every single morning. And he made headlines for spending over a million dollars on a single tuna. So this guy right here doesn't mess around. He is literally known as the Tuna King. Right next to just a giant portion of tuna. Probably at least $3,000, $4,000 worth of tuna. Maybe even more when they resell. Everybody wants to order from them, 
So they pick and choose their customers? He knows exactly right where to place the knife. Oh, that sound. I've realized that the Tuna King here is the only one that's allowed to touch the knife. Everybody else just supports him because he's so good at what he does. So once they've cut up tuna and let it sit out for a little while like this, it gets much more vibrant red in color. It looks a lot better as it sort of sits and ages for a little bit in a fridge. So this is the backside of the Tuna King's operation where they're cutting all their tuna down. And it looks like he's still in the process of breaking down a lot of these here. That knife is literally as tall as me. I think that's a six foot knife. And look how many people it takes for them to break this down. This is so crazy. They just saw back and forth, back and forth in sync until they cut all the way through the tuna. And once they lift this off, you can see the only thing left is this really bare bone spine with just a little bit of meat on there. And they can use the scrapings of this for things like a spicy tuna roll or a tuna hand roll. Things where the tuna doesn't need to be like one large piece like you would need for nigiri or sushi. So this over here on this side is the Tuna King's frozen division. And it makes it really easy to get clean, perfect slices on tuna. Looks like they're cutting it into portions and just breaking all these big frozen tunas apart in here. That is so satisfying. Take had to go prep at his restaurant, so we said goodbye and went to try our uni. When I travel, I don't often buy nice clothes or souvenirs. I buy food that will leave me with a lasting memory. Last time in Japan, it was an expensive mango, and this time, it's sea urchin. The moment of truth right here. Oh my god, look at that. Oh, I'm so happy. This is the biggest bite of uni that I've ever taken. Oh my god. I have never had uni at 7 a.m., but I love it. Now everybody's kind of packing up, huh? Yeah. This is it. It all happens in this one giant complex. They bring the seafood in, they sell it at an auction, and then it gets smaller and smaller and smaller until it's sold and ready to eat. 